I'm Tobiah Walter, a technical services representative here at SVSI. So you've received your devices, you've connected them all to your switch, and you've downloaded and enabled, and you've been able to simply auto-discover them, but when you go to connect to them, nothing. Well, this is actually a really simple problem to fix. You probably simply don't have your 169.254 IP address so you can communicate with your devices in your TCP IP setting. So with just a few simple steps, we'll remedy that problem and you can be back to getting your network up and running. So first we're going to go to the Start menu, Control Panel, Network and Sharing Center. We're going to click on Ethernet because this specifies the connection to your network interface card with the Ethernet cable. We're going to click on Properties. We're going to go to Internet Protocol Version 4 or TCP IP v4 settings and go Properties. Now, we don't simply need one IP address in the basic settings. We actually have to go to the advanced settings to add multiple IP addresses. As you can see here, I already have two IP addresses, but neither one of them start with the 169.254 you need to communicate with the devices. So I'm going to add a new IP address. I'm going to use 169.254. Now, I need to make sure that the IP address I choose does not have the same last two numbers as the IP, as the IP addresses of the devices I already have. So I'm going to choose 1.254 because that's a high enough IP kind of out of the range of what our devices normally would have auto assigned to them. Now the subnet mask populates for you. 255.255.0.0 is the same subnet mask that your devices have that has to match to communicate between them. Then not only do we need an IP address but we need a default gateway so that that IP address can communicate on this network. So I'm going to add that 169.254.1.1 and click add. Now I just have to say OK for these settings, OK here, and then I'm just going to close this out so that the settings can take. Now one good way to check to make sure your settings took is to go to your command prompt. So you're going to, go to com you're going to go to your start menu again and type CMD, which stands for command prompt. And you'll see this, window, this icon right here. Open that up. Now we're going to use a very basic command. It's called IP config. This, this command right here just shows you the configuration, your IP configuration on your network interface card. And as you can see right here, I have Ethernet adapter and I have all three of the IP addresses to include the one I recently added right here with its default gateway. So what do you say we try out enable again? We go back to enable, I click on the same device and voila, I have the settings that I need so I can change them. I also now can pass streams within my video matrix and I hope this helps you so that you can get back on track and hooking up your network.